All right. First time ever taking the busway here in Jakarta. So naturally and obviously Jakarta is known for its traffic. They call it Machat because so many markets like this with a narrow road and usually full of cars. But did you know that Jakarta has the world's largest busway? So sometimes the busway is on something like this. Now, I'm not actually sure if this is a busway. This could be a train or just a highway. But sometimes there is a dedicated bridge for the busway. And other times it's just a dedicated lane on the road where cars are not allowed to drive. Buses only. But it is, in fact, the world's largest busway. So let's take it today. Let's check it out. Let's see how efficient it is. Let's see what it costs. And let's see where it takes us. Our main goal today is to go to the IT mall. We've got our electronics in the backpack and we've got uh, computer repair, GoPro accessories and other stuff at the IT mall which should also be a unique experience, big and crowded and interesting. So without further ado, let's check out the busway. Oh feeling very festive, feeling very proud of Indonesia today because it is in fact Indonesia's Independence Day in August. So uh, for the past few weeks we've been seeing lots of Indonesian flags everywhere. And I guess I was right Ivana, this bridge we were walking under, it, uh, it is in fact the busway. So we just came down from here and now we're going up the busway. Not a bad view up here and uh, the busway. Busway and highway. Oh yeah, yeah. Busway is the one, the bridge with the green and the highway kind of beneath it or beside it. Uh, I'm starting to get the idea of why they call these big cities the concrete jungle. <laughs> concrete everywhere. And this is an interesting thing in Indonesia. This fellow here just walked into the street and blocked traffic so that this guy could turn. The traffic is so bad that there are people who will walk into traffic. Here he goes again. Stop, stop letting out this car. And there are days where without him, you're just not going to make it. <laughs> so he is not doing it uh, out of kindness of his heart. He's doing it out of necessity. <laughs> it's actually quite fun to watch uh, the traffic because so many guys come out and Block, and sometimes a big truck is trying to turn right so the big truck has to do like a three-point turn forward back forward and uh, it's quite the procedure involving many different people in order to get a big truck turned around cannot buy the card here no can pay cash cash no no card only yeah. but cannot buy the card here oh uh, apa? Where? Okay, okay, okay. Jadi harus uh, Indomart. Indomart. Yang paling dekat sini ya? Yeah. Okay. Indomart. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Terima kasih. Okay. So our first struggle. Uh, busway only accessible with card, and cannot buy the card at the busway. So first things first, trying to find an Indomart to buy. Uh, we need two cards or one? I think just one. I have one from my dad. Oh, you have one from uh, your dad. Okay, looking for Indomart. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're actually coming back the exact same way we came underneath the busway. And this to me, as an outsider, this is one of the the beauties of the beast, okay? <laughs> when it comes to Jakarta, it's no sense complaining that sometimes it takes a little while to get things done. Right. This is just the nature of the animal. This is the beauty of the beast in Jakarta. So, about 20 minutes has gone by and we are right back where we started and we are no closer to getting on the bus. 
no problemo. I'm sure we can conquer it. Never give up. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, up on uh, Indomart. Indomart? This way. Yeah, this way. Yeah. This way. Ah, uh, Makassi. Okay. Shout out to the local man, who I think spoke English, by the way. Seems like, uh, what would you say the English level is in Indonesia? Um, very basic. But most people have a basic understanding. Yeah. I mean, you can speak Indonesian a little bit. But I think, I think their English is better than my Indonesian. Really? Do you think so? Uh, not really. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, shout out to that guy. Oh, it's literally right here. Can't miss it. All right. Another challenge. Another challenge. So challenge number one was getting on the busway. Challenge number two was finding Indomart. Challenge number three is crossing the road. In Indonesia, they follow the power of the hand. Power of the hand, like this. Oh, oh, power of the hand, power of the hand, power of the hand. Power with no emblem. Okay. Okay, we're doing it, guys. We're really doing it out here. So far, we've been on the road for half an hour, 20 minutes maybe. Haven't got anywhere, and I am covered in sweat. Woo! Panas. Panas in Jakarta. Oh. Oh, this one. Uh, Satu. Okay. Okay, see. Maybe a, maybe a cold drink too, Ivana. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. A couple of kids having fun in the Indomart. Hanging out at the convenience store, just like I used to do when I was a kid. Except it was 7 Eleven. <laughs> Alright, so we charged our busway card with $50,000 American. No, 50,000 rupiah, which is like three or four dollars American. And we are back on our way with our Bukhari sweat. By the way, as long as I'm in Indonesia, you go ahead and buy yourself some stock in Bukhari sweat because I drink about three of these every day. So I think the business has a good future. Okay, next stop, busway, take two. Okay, we're back. I need a nap. Whew. I'm tired already. Fingers crossed for AC on the busway. No AC and it's gonna be Gojek from here on out. AC or Uber. Okay. Ta -ta -na -na. Tempel de Sini. Yeah. Tempel is Tempel is tap. Yeah. Tap here. Yeah. Sila can masuk. Please enter. Oh, we're in there, guys. Oh, you know what? Feels like I'm. Uh, feels like I'm on top of the city up here. I think it's time to queue up my go-to karaoke song. I'm like the bird. I wanna fly away. Here I am on the busway. Eating rendang and satay. Oh, da ba da ba da ba da ba. I'm like a bird. Okay. Do you know it's this bus? Do you know it's this bus? <laughs> I hope it is. Uh oh. Yes, this one. This one. Yes. Okay, bolé bolé.
not sure what's happening here, but something is going on. Everybody's trying to go at once. <laughs> this light over here is green, which means that light going this way is probably green. These cars here got stuck in the middle. Oh, oops, he's almost out of space. <laughs> so this is a classic example as to why Jakarta needs a good, effective busway. Because the street can be <laughs> top level traffic. Imagine me with a rental car in that traffic. Guaranteed breakdown crying. Guaranteed could not handle it. Wow. Destination. So on our journey, we took two different busways. The first one was scan out. Scan, scan out. Okay, okay. Did it. So as I was saying, the first busway was up in the air. And first things first, quite nice, quite convenient for a tourist to be up in the air. Because even in my own neighborhood where I'm staying, I didn't realize there's a pool right nearby. And so up above, I was spotting all the landmarks and tourist attractions, churches and mosques. And so quite convenient to be up in the air. Now, I was a bit nervous that an old bridge with an old bus could be quite rough and feel like it's a bit of an earthquake every time you hit a seam in the bridge. But I was pleasantly surprised that it's relatively new, the bridge and the bus. So pretty smooth, I would say quite clean. And even at 1.30 p.m. on a weekday, there were lots of people inside, so it seems useful, it seems new, it seems practical and affordable. Uh, so far, so good. I will say, I think the idea will be to get some electric buses on top. Yeah. Because then it'll be quiet and smooth, and then you'll be almost at South Korea level once you get Wi-Fi in all of the uh, Wi-Fi, that's a long way to go. <laughs> Best public transport in the world, in our eyes, was Seoul, South Korea. Yeah. Now, we did transfer, like I said, from the above ground to the on the ground and during our walk to the second bus station we saw some traffic that is textbook jakarta and so it's another reason for us to love the busway because i don't think renting a car or driving a car is possible for me in jakarta it was a bit nerve-wracking even to watch it so when we were transferring we did get a bit lost but the signs were pretty clear and we figured it out there were some nice viewpoints and so many bridges in jakarta I feel like Jakarta reminds me of the cities I used to build in SimCity 2000. Really? <laughs> bridges going every way. One bridge for the train, one bridge for the bus, one bridge for people. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw a bridge in Jakarta just for cats or just for animals or something. Because uh, as far as city view goes, there are some pretty good vantage points from the city. Now, when we got on the second bus, we did notice a couple bus stops that you could buy a card at which only makes sense i think we got unlucky not being able to buy a card at the bus stop seems a bit like going to a movie theater and not being able to buy movie tickets but we did figure it out in the end and so we're here now we're actually in the old town kota tua so these are all old dutch colonial buildings although stay tuned for the old town vlog coming soon we will do a whole vlog around here but today many of the museums are closed so today's monday they're closed on mondays maybe we'll come back on tuesday or so and one thing i was trying to keep track of in the busway was was the bus going faster than the cars or slower it seemed pretty comparable i think the cars were going faster because there wasn't much traffic uh, i think if there was heavy traffic the busway might actually be faster than the cars because of the dedicated lane so overall it was a good experience on the bus we noticed a ladies only zone we noticed it was quite clean. We noticed lots of construction happening in Jakarta, such as this. But uh, our experience on the busway was pretty nice. And so with that, we're going to the IT Mall. And what's convenient is I'm trying to upgrade the RAM in my laptop. And the word for upgrade in Indonesian is upgrade. So I can ask people if we can uh, boost up our laptop as well as buy some GoPro accessories. Uh, 
Pretty good. Pretty good bus ride experience. So, Ivana, what would you add? Um, it was actually faster than I thought. I thought it would take really, really long to get here, but it was faster than I thought. Yeah, it's a good way to uh, escape the machet. If it's really machet, it takes the bus way because it got its own lane. Exactly right. And it's faster. Exactly right. Yeah. Umba. Okay, there you have it, guys. So. The day started off on a bit of a misfire, but we are going pretty good now. And next stop, IT Mall. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> All right, we've made it to Manga Dua Mall which means two mangoes. I don't know why it's called that, but you can see this huge mall. It's all electronics. Now we had to walk, I don't know, 10 minutes to get here, 15. And so I'm ready for another Prakari sweat. Oof. And right at the front door, we got lenses and everything you might want. Computer and camera related. All right, let the IT market hunt begin all right check it out super massive IT mall I think it's got six or seven floors which is pretty great for tourists because it's very easy to go door to door because most of the stores are selling similar if not the exact same products now Ivana and I did just get our laptop upgraded we got 32 gigabytes of RAM from a very friendly guy who invited me in the back of the shop to have cigarettes. <laughs> and I said, no thanks, man, but thanks for the offer. Super nice guy. And so we were able to go a couple doors and get a good price. Uh, we were looking for some GoPro uh, accessories, although what we're looking for is not authentic GoPro. And I think we're best to get it online straight from China. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Everything here seems to be pretty official. You can see all the name brands. So we were looking for some uh, cheap, sort of non-authentic GoPro accessories. There's an announcement like I'm in an airport. They're probably, they're probably announcing a deal on uh, a RAM upgrade. Just starting now. <laughs> All right, there you have it guys. Thanks for watching our video. Shout out to the busway. It was really nice. Yeah, I like it. Uh, we liked it. We had a good experience affordable and useful and now we are going back because we've been out of the house for almost four hours and that is maximum time for me and jakarta energy reserves are dwindling tired tired energy reserves are at a catastrophic low all right see you guys later thanks for watching <laughs>